Welcome to this week's Two Minute Tuesday. This week we're answering a question we've recently been receiving a lot. When is it acceptable to have just a head of stay event in a residential apartment building? The answer to this is found in approved document B, section 3.28 for small single stair buildings. It's rather difficult to explain by quoting, so I'm going to summarize. However, if this applies to a situation you're designing, I'd recommend you take a look at the actual document to make sure you have it correct. Providing the following criteria are met, you can use one high level AOV at the head of stair. The criteria are as follows. The top story is a maximum of 11 meters above ground level. There are no more than three stories above ground level. The staircase does not serve a covered car park. The staircase does not serve offices, stores, or ancillary accommodation. The maximum travel distance from the stair door to the apartment door is no more than four and a half meters. Then we can have either of the following provided for the fire and rescue service. A high level openable vent in the stair at each story with a free area of at least one meter square, or more commonly, a single openable vent with a free area of at least one square meter at the head of the stair, operable remotely at the fire and rescue service access level. You may think, well, why wouldn't I just have one vent at the head of the stair rather than having to have a vent on every level? And the answer to this is that vents on every level of the stair don't have to be electrically operated. However, the one at the top of the stair does have to be electrically operated as it must be operable remotely. The other thing to be aware of is that these vents would typically be an OV. This is an opening vent. This is different from an AOV, an automatic opening vent. An OV is controlled by the fire and rescue service rather than any detection system. However, if the lobby is removed between the stair and the dwelling, then we must use an AOV instead, i.e. we must have smoke detectors which would detect the smoke and then open the vent automatically. If the building is taller, the travel distance longer, the number of stories greater, or any of the other limitations I mentioned apply, then different requirements apply. But hopefully this helps you answer the question of when you can and when you can't use a single vent at the top of the stair. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you'd like more content like this, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. And as always, I'll look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now.